Hello, welcome viewers to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to interact and learn together. Today, we are going to have our Biology Form 1 Lesson 8, whereby our topic will be about the cell, and as we are aware that the cell is the basic unit of an organism under the subtopic, the cell specialization. Our tutor will be Mr. Gerard. Our today's lesson basically is going to be on cell specialization. As you know, um, uh, the body of living organism is made up of many cells which are specialized for to perform different functions. Welcome. Uh, we have our lesson objectives whereby by the end of the lesson you should be able to identify different specialized cell cells and uh, you also give their functions. The first specialized cell that we are going to deal with is the root hair cell. But here, normally this one we are going to deal with, we are first dealing with the specialized plant cells. So the first uh, specialized plant cell we are going to look at is the root hair cell. The root hair cell is specialized um, in a manner whereby it will be able to observe water, to absorb water from the, from the ground. As you can see, we have the soil particles. So this root uh, in, our, uh, in that diagram, the root hair cell is observing water from the underneath the uh, ground. Uh, so, the root hair cell is a specialized cell of the root epidermis. It has an extension, whereby the extension, we, uh, we can call it the projection. We call the projection uh, the root hair. Uh, it increases the surface area for absorption of water and mineral source from the soil because we are aware that um, plants they absorb they need water and also mineral salts for their growth our second specialized plant cell is the gall cell um, as you can see from our diagram we have the chloroplast we have the cell wall stoma whereby in plural we can call it the stomata we also have the vacuole and the nucleus um as you can see in the stoma uh, but before the stoma there are two there are two um there are two walls whereby the inner wall is thicker than the um outer cell on further details about the gut cell uh the gut cell uh the, uh these are specialized plant cells that are found in the leaf epidermis unlike our um our specialized cell we have seen as the root these ones are found in the leaf epidermis they are bean shaped that is the bean shaped they contain chloroplast and have thick inner walls and thin outer walls this one is um, very um as we are seeing it in our diagram the inner walls they are thicker than the outer walls we have a reason for this because uh, there is this to allow um air to get into the to get into the leaf and to allow the stoma to open. Uh, the features they enable to control the opening and closing of stomata to allow for gaseous exchange. That is in, in short. Um, we are going to also have our third specialized um, plant cell, which is the palisade cell. The palisade cell, as you can see, it has got several organelles, uh, whereby you can see we have the cell membrane, we have the cytoplasm, we still have the nucleus the mitochondria mitochondrion in plural is called uh, they are the mitochondria we have chloroplast which are responsible for making the chlorophyll we have the vacuole and we have the cell wall um on um, explaining this one we have uh, the palisade cells are the main plant photosynthetic cells which are found beneath the upper epidermis of the leaf uh, they are closely packed and have numerous chloroplasts that contain chlorophyll to trap light energy for photosynthesis. As you can see on our diagram, the function of the chloroplast is to trap light energy. Uh, the function of the chloroplast is to trap light energy for um, photosynthesis because um, photosynthesis is the process by which uh, living, uh, that, that is the plants, uh, make their own food. Uh, we have the nerve cell. These are specialized um, animal cells. The above um, organelles we've seen, uh, the above uh, tissues we've seen, 
are for plants but this one the nerve cell is an animal specialized uh, cell as you are able to see we have the dendrites we have the nucleus we still have the cell body the node of rand wire we have the axion the myelian sheath the Schwann cell and uh, we have the axion terminal the nerve cell is a structural and functional unit of the nervous system in the in animals as we are aware that um, uh, in animals we have to sense uh, for example when uh, you touch um, hot water you sense uh, the hotness we normally use the nerve cells their cell bodies have extensions called the axons as you can see from our diagram and dendrites that facilitate impulse tra transmissions when you uh, hold something like a hot metallic uh, structure you feel that um, you feel that uh, hotness through the, the nerve cells. They, they transmit the, those impulses. Uh, having said that, we are going to have an activity whereby we are, we are going to identify the specialized plant cells and give their functions. Remember we have said that uh, there are specialized plant cells and animal cells. But in our activity, we are only going to deal with the specialized plant cells. For further reference on the specialized uh, plant cells, you, have, you can uh, refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 1, uh, Nairobi. Uh, for this and more, you can conduct us through an SMS, whereby you can send us an SMS to the number that you can see on the screen, or you send us a message uh, on our Facebook page at Elimu TV. Or rather, you can also send us a message on Twitter or uh, you tweet us at Elimu TV um, Kenya. That is underscore Kenya. Thank you for watching. Let us learn together. Thank you.